Hey, this is Steve with Affordicare Insurance. And like a lot of you guys that are maybe looking at the Champion Health Plan, I wanted you to introduce Luke, the president of Reminder Media. And um, I, I think that the interesting part and the perspective that you can share, now you guys are an Inc. 500 company, been around for 20 years. You have um, employees all across the U.S., about $70 million in revenue, so not a small company by any means. Yep. And one of the things that I think that a lot of companies have, especially of the size you guys are, is, you know, the process, the rollout, you know, and again, so maybe if you could just kind of in your own words, give us your perspective when you, not only when you first heard it, but just kind of like experienced afterwards. As yeah. Well. Um, so when I first met uh, Steve and Shane and they presented the champ plan to me, my biggest fear, which maybe you guys can relate to is it sounded too good to be true. Something that's going to make me money but at the same time, my employees end up making more money in their check. I was like, this sounds too good to be true. Uh, but I spent time actually getting to know Stephen Shane, researching it, uh, doing my due diligence, even talking to some of their clients. And it is true. And so I would encourage everybody that, hey, if you have that fear of this is too good to be true, it is true. And it's something that I believe every business is going to be doing in the future. So this is your time to get in early and be able to get those savings even sooner than everybody else. But the other big fear that we had was, ah, oh, man, we have to get our employees to look at this, you know, health stuff, you know, every day to get these credits and stuff. Would it be easy to enroll them? Will my HR team have to handle a ton of this? Steve and them, they do everything. They make it super easy. You know, HR team, you know, they're going to direct them. They're going to walk them through everything. They make it super easy for employees. So it's not anything that you have to worry about from that perspective, which has been a load and a weight off of my plate. So support you guys. I appreciate the partnership and I always love saving money as a business owner. And that's what this does. All right. Well, I appreciate the, uh, the time for you guys. Again, the, the insight, the research, there's no bad questions you can ask. I mean, ultimately, I think what we get into is, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's the, you have a section 125 deduction and then you have an insurance claim payment paid with post-tax dollars. And so in essence, yes, it's simple, but I think on that perspective of it, was it was that the um, was that more of the roadblock initially for you guys, or was it more the employee experience? Which you're more so, like? I think the employee experience experience was the biggest roadblock because the, the tax laws and those insurance stuff is it's going to be what it's going to be. It's more of will the employee understand why it looks like they've maybe made less, but they actually have netted more. And that explanation, but also making sure that the uh, employee will actually log in and do the things to get them that credit. That was our biggest um, uh, hurdle to overcome that, hey, how are we going to roll this out? How are we going to explain this? You guys provide the material. You guys kind of hold people by the hand and walk people through it, which I think is awesome. Yeah, and, no, and I, I think that's probably the, the biggest thing. So, yep. I again, appreciate your time. Thank you guys. Also, check Reminder Media. I think they're a great resource for you guys and your clients as well. But thank you. You guys are um, absolutely wonderful. Love working with you guys and appreciate the time.